Good morning, it's Will from the Vintage Garden Tractor Company and this morning we're going to show you how to polarise a dynamo. Um, polarising dynamos needs to happen so that we match the voltage of the dynamo itself to the regulator um, on your tractor. Quite often um, vintage tractors can be either negative earth or positive earth and that is really dependent on how you polarise your dynamo. There are two methods by which you can do this. You can actually polarise the dynamo itself or you can po polarise the regulator. Um, if the actual dynamo is already installed on the tractor, um, the preferred method is by polarising the regulator rather than the actual dynamo itself. So here we have our dynamo. Um, we've got two terminals on this dynamo. We have the power source, which is the larger one, and the smaller one, which is the field terminal. The field terminal is the one that we need to flash to polarise this dynamo. Um, what we're going to do now is that we need a known power source. In this case, it's a 12 volt battery. Obviously, if it is a 6 volt dynamo, you will need to use your 6 volt battery. The method of choice would be actually to um, polarise the control box or regulator. This is also done, if you look on the back of your control box, there is a terminal which is labelled F, which is your field terminal. And again, that is where you would polarise on the regulator. So, now that we have our regulator and we are aware of which terminal is the field. What we need to do now is using our known power source is clip to earth and then using our terminal from the positive battery is flash and when we say flash we literally mean just touching it for a less than a second just brushing the terminal across the field terminal you will see a blue spark when you see that blue spark you have then polarized your dynamo if you've enjoyed this youtube video then please subscribe to the vintage garden tractor company youtube site many thanks bye